I have no idea what fracking is. Fracking? I couldn't. I couldn't describe it to you. I could pretend and try to seem like I'm educated on it, but I'm not. I don't know, but what a little bit I do know, it has something to do with adding water somewhere to get more energy from someplace. I'd like to know short-term and long-term effects of fracking. What are the effects on the air and the water and the land that it's around? And then in longer term, like, like I'm sort of concerned about that, right? Of like, what does it mean um, in 50 years and 100 years? We'd want to know when it's happening. We'd want to know who's monitoring. We'd want to know what the production um, specifications are, what kind of chemicals are being put in the ground, how deep it's going order to judge whether or not fracking fluids are in fact migrating in the subsurface and potentially threatening groundwater supplies, we would need to know what's in those fluids. So the problem is the state of California and certainly my little city of Culver City doesn't have enough money to fund big studies on hydraulic fracturing. Uh, the money really is coming from the industry itself. Fracking is expanding right now in California without state regulators even tracking where it's going on. So there's no fracking specific regulation and regulators aren't even collecting information about when, where, or how. I want lawmakers, I want to feel like they care. I want them to send their own people and do their own studies. I don't want to feel that I'm being fooled by oil companies. I think if it's going to be for us, it's good. For the city itself, it's good. But now if it's going to be environmentally bad for us, I think it's we could search other ways to you know, do it the right way. LA is a basin, and this is not just going to be a local um, Baldwin Hills, Culver City issue. This will definitely impact all of Los Angeles for many years to come. Corporations do have some rights to protect their investments, but they also have some responsibilities to provide the public with the right information to evaluate health and safety claims.